the Ember to stop that. So it looks like Polaris are just accepting that their lanes are really just not going to be as good as you'd want it to. It kind of came out the same way last time, except Natsumi was farming a lot better. But Neon did have that stronger early start. And maybe Polaris is just more confident in what they have later on in the game. And there's that mid lane first blood coming out. Avatar mode able to find a solo pick off on the Ember. Of course, we know Avatar mode loves this Ember spirit. Especially as a core, it's just not shaping up for him in this lane matchup. Tamo's just done such a good job on the Ember. As per usual though, again, probably his best hero from what we've watched. Oh, down bot. Oh, they're onto Fortune Soul. Force, he does eventually make his way over. At least you found Xavius. So the Quill Spray is getting that job done, but it won't matter. Polaris will be more than happy with that trade. The pause one of the Bristle going down. Force the Avatar mode. Doesn't want to really deal with him anymore. He's kind of got PTSD from the mid lane. So they are the same level now. Rebound in as well. Xavius will force the Rune back from the Ember. Xavius sticking around. They've even dropped the Tombstone, he would say. And Xavius, he might be the one to drop, but he does stick charge and keep trying to fight. As now the Echo Slam is committed, and it's just really on the familiars. Get rid of them, though. Natsumi, he gets caught. Avatar mode. He'll take a fourth pick off. That's, that's a bit surprising. He popped the Mask of Madness. Say this with Luna. If you don't have the gold advantage, the hero just doesn't feel impactful. And you are very behind Fortune Soul at this point in the game. That's very true, John. Polaris. Maybe looking for a straggler. Do see Say. They can rebound off the familiars as well, which is a nice little combo with the with the, uh, with the old Visage. It's Avatar mode. Hey, you actually going to drop down bot side. Avatar mode trying to protect the Undying, but eventually Xavius... Should be able to get there thanks to the stone form of the familiars. As dispose if he needs it. Say he's just going to buy himself a bit of time, but in the end, it's going to be a support for a support trade. While that was happening, AU does go down, and AU, for the last few minutes, all he. And Ryu showing mid, but they know they can't jump the Weaver at the moment. They just don't have the lockdown. Tamod still playing around in that die triangle. He's going to back his way out. And instead, Natsumi, he's going to be targeted. Echo Slam committed. Hand of God out. But Natsumi dropping too low does go down to Enryu. And the time lapse away, he is going to be just fine. They're still trying to deal with the Tombstone. They'll finally take it out. But all they're going to find so far is the Undying trade. For a position one Luna, that is never going to feel good. Pretty alright on Polaris' part, even though you're losing some big cores. Like, you are staying in this game. Uh, you scouting around on the rear flank, Roche? Kind of being poked here by Neon. It is. Fortune Soul has the axe. It's a hard fight to take. They do break. Jump in. That's a great rebound. Xavier setting up. They've got oh, the God. bristle. Oh, no. That's a turning point if I've ever seen one. Polaris, they might have really saved themselves in this game. Number two. Rebound is there. Avatar mode. He's okay for now. The chase is on again, but Polaris, they've won what they wanted. They need to get out. Lelouch, he gets the chain, or rather TP away. Force, he will get chained up as the Viper, but he'll look for a fight back and at least try to trade here with the Earthshaker, finding one. Can he at least find another? Avatar will be forced to rim it out. Enryu, he is going to take the Viper down. But overall, huge win for Polaris. They had no right to go after that Roshan, and somehow they get away. They have the jump in. Force, he'll get chained up. Force staff away, juking out the Fisher. They do not lock him down. They even commit the tombstone for this, but Force, he's still being chased down. Spirit Vessel from Enryu, he'll keep the vision up. Rebound, the turnaround, onto Fortune Soul. In comes the Eclipse from Natsumi. Oh They're in a terrible position, Neon. The Bristleback melts. Force will finally die, but it's well worth the trade. He doesn't care. He's happy about that. Every time this Bristleback dies, early, and they are going to try and smoke up and surp surprise reveal with this BKB. Force will break the smoke on Avatar. Slider Fist connects on nothing. They do see the Viper, they'll rush for him. Fisher is there, lock him down. Team right behind him. Force may drop it, a four staff is out, but no, he's gone. Fortune Soul really trying to rush while the BKB is still going. Meanwhile, Natsumi pops the Eclipse onto the Weaver Enryu. He is going to melt. That's pause three for pause three. Neon, BKB is over, they've got to run. They can't fight anymore because Force brought back on the Viper. And he wants to fight. Say, 
Caught out. Rebound will lock him down. They'll at least find an undying. Get the, Watch the spot T3. They get, a, they get a way better trade. And, yeah. It seems like they want to try for the Radiant Triangle. Xavius, he's got the blink to initiate. Fortune Soul, he might get spotted. Xavius, no, the familiars, they'll do it. They'll see the bristle. Oh, and the stunt, he tried to TP. No, he didn't. He was just trying to run. The BKB's out. They've got the Marcy. A nice start. A nice Fisher. An Echo Slam. Natsumi, though, he'll turn right back around, taking down the Earthshaker. Now finding oh, the bristle back. God. Oh, Fortune Soul, he's just not that tanky. No, he, Roshan he time. Really is. It racks. They're trying to defend. Look, look at the da This isn't fair. It's not fair, man. Look at this. They do at least get one of the familiars. Xavius, he's going to jump in. The bristle. Four staff the way will survive. Henry me comes in from the side with the Gleipnir. Fisher out as well. But they just... It, it's like, where do you aim? Who do you aim? Playhard's gone. Lelouch will hand over the tip. Into avatar mode now. He's got one remnant left. He will walk out. But tier 3 towers gone. Into the bot racks. Give the sidekick over, would you, Xavius? We need some more damage. There we go. <laughs> oh, God. That's disgusting. Well, very good. That was without the grave chill, by the way, John. They can go faster, just so you're aware. In we go again. Fortune Soul trying to defend his, the best he can with the Bristle back, but the tier 4 towers are under siege. They're not even aiming heroes now. Enryu finally goes down. Natsumi's literally ignoring the team fight. Never mind though, he'll move back in, but no, it's back to the tier 4 towers. A man of business. There goes the tier 4. GG will play. Good luck oh. is out from Playhard. Good sportsmanship here from Neon as the Echo Slam. Playhard, celebration Echo, but the GG's called. They will find no kills anyway. Polaris Esports. They will take this 2-0. Over Neon, another dominant series. And again, you love to see Neon being so polite with the sportsmanship. Obviously, all these players know each other very well. And even if you're not... The